Welcome to Exotic Spice. Let's cook. Today I will show you how to make tamarind chutney. If you remember the tiki recipe um, previously, I used this chutney as a dipping sauce. Well, here are the ingredients. Now you take the tamarind and soak it in water for two to three hours. For faster result, try mashing them together once in a while so they blend in within the water, making it into a nice thick paste. Once you feel like it's mashed together well enough, in a large bowl, put a strainer inside and pour the tamarind mash into it. You can use a silicone brush like I'm using or your hands and push out the liquid paste into the bowl. So in the end, it should be only the um what do you call the skin the seeds um left in there every part of the liquid should be squeezed out if you feel like it's too thick you are always welcome to put half a cup of water and do the same thing all over again don't worry if it becomes too liquidy because once you do the cooking it will thicken it out Now, once you strained it all out, look at outside of the strainer. There is a lot of uh, paste still stuck there. You can strain it out. Be careful. As you notice, mine is a little short. Now, in a deep frying pan, and you'll notice it's a really large one that I normally use, turn your heat into medium and add oil to your pan, then garlic and ginger, cumin seed. black salt, cumin powder, chili, chaat masala, and mix. Then add your tamarind paste. And mix until it's well blended. Now add sugar and jaggery, which Indian people call it gur. So if you go to an Indian store, you can ask for that word, gur or jaggery. They're aware of both, either one of them. Add salt to taste and mix. Once in a while, as you're cook cooking, you will want to taste it to make sure that it's not too sour. There's different kind of tamarinds out there. Some of the package actually says the word sweet. So if you find it, you're locked out. Otherwise, they're usually really sour. So you don't have to, in this particular case, follow 100% of the recipe where sugar and jaggery is required. You can slowly add little by little and then cook it for a bit and taste it. If you feel like it's not too sour and perfect to your tongue, um, then that would be it. And if you notice that the paste is getting a little bit too thick, you can pour in a little bit of water to adjust it. Um, again, remember, it shouldn't be too thin. It shouldn't be too thick. Just perfect to be able to dip it and use it as a dipping sauce. Also, another thing as you're cooking, this thing splatters everywhere. So be very careful, always, you know, after you stir, quickly put the lid on. So if it splatters, it'll go on the lid. And as you're taking the lid off, as soon as you're moving it, try stirring it before you fully remove the lid. Because if you don't, it will splatter all over you. And you'll notice it splattered, splattered a little bit here and there over the stove. So it is kind of like a, you could say, sticky job. But the end result and taste is amazing. After you have done all the tasting and you have perfect amount of sugar, jaggery, and every other ingredients in there, it just needs to thicken 
a little bit so cook according to what you see don't again let it go too thick once you know it's done you know you could turn up the stove and there you go you have your tamarind chutney once you put it in a dish or a container that you can put the lid on or even a jar um, you can refrigerate it and just like a regular jam it can last for a while um, so definitely enjoy it with your um, any snacks that you make or any Indian food even with food cooking like curry and all of that you can have this as you know chutney normally comes together with Indian dishes but have fun enjoy it and uh, let me know how it turns out if you have any questions or concerns I'm seeing people are putting comments I'm loving it so please continue otherwise see you next time